sometimes it can be very helpful to be able to combine some of the different sections that Infinite Campus lists for the classes that a person is teaching. For example, I like to have everybody in one period combined, so I would like to be able to have all of these senior high students in my first period Algebra 2 class showing up at the same time as all of these junior high students in my first period Algebra 2 class. So to combine those, I click Settings, this blue tab over here on the left, then I select Section Group since I want to be able to group different sections together. I don't have any created yet, so I go down to the bottom, click Add, so that I can create my first one. And for this one, I want to be able to combine the Senior High and the Junior High First Period students together. I need to give this combined section group a name, so I'm going to call it First Semester 1. And when I have my list of all of my section groups, I think I would like this one to be up at the top, so I am going to put a 1 in here for this sequence. Of these students that I am now going to combine into this section group, I would like to have my junior high names at the top. So over here on the right, I will call this sequence 1. And my senior high students, I would like to have below that, so I will number them 2. I also find it helpful to have a different color showing up to help me see which group I am in within that section group. Once I have selected everything, I will set Save. And then you can see that I have now created my first period semester one section group. I'll go ahead and create another one here. This one, I would like to have all of my Algebra 3 students so I will select both of these semester one, this semester one, both of these, and this one. I have six different infinite campus sections for all of my junior high and senior high students throughout the day. I can choose what order I want these to display in. I will number those one through six. I'd like my junior high student to be first, then the rest of second period. Then I will move to fourth period. Then my fifth period ones and my sixth period section. Again, I can color code these. I can select one color for all of second period a different color for fourth period, another color for all of fifth period, and yet another color for sixth period. I also need to name this section group. This one will be ALG 3 Semester 1. And I would like this to be the second one of the section groups in my list. Everything is selected, so I choose Save. And you can see that I have both of these section groups created. I like to have the combined one for a period because it is very convenient when entering tests and graded papers to not have to constantly switch back and forth. So let me show you what that would look like. Next time I click the drop down for the sections, up at the top I have the section groups that I have just created. Below that I have all of the individual sections that Infinite Campus had automatically created for me. If I clicked on my first period one, you could see my junior high students up here at the top. This band on the left with the color coding shows these are my junior highs. And real easy at a glance when scrolling through, oh, here's where the senior highs start. Again, this is very helpful to go in here and then 
If I want to create an assignment, I can do that in here, and it's created for all of the students in that class period. Similarly, I can go into Algebra 3, where I have all of these created. If I scroll down, you see the color changes when I move from one class period to the next. Very convenient to create the assignments in here, and then it is created for all of the students throughout the day in the different sections of that. It is also convenient when I have given a test, I can hover over the title up at the top of that test column, and it will tell me the mean, the median, the standard deviation for all of the students who took the test, not just period by period. It is also very helpful if doing anything with Google Classroom. I can then create only one Google Classroom and have all of my Algebra 3 students join that so that I only have to create the assignments once in Google Classroom. It is also very convenient then when grading there to be able to copy all of the grades at once with the grade transfer tool and then come back to this combination class with all of those students in it and transfer the grades there and it will automatically sort them out into the right order so that the right score goes with the right student. So I hope you find that helpful.